what if your opponent is bent over, he's one of these guys, and he's got this shell here, he doesn't want you, he thinks he's safe. If your opponent is bent over, and he's one of these guys, and he's got this shell here, he doesn't want you, he thinks he's safe. So his weight's forward of his legs, his butt's behind it, so he's really kind of off balance, but he's, he's really very defensive, so it's kind of a hard shell to break through for some of these guys, especially if stepping out and everything. So in that case, let's take advantage of the situation. So Derek's taking a sleeve grip here, a longer grip, and he's really got his right hand on the, the lapel. He's just got a standard lapel and sleeve grip, kumikata grip. So there we have it. Now, the basic, what we're going to do the basic, what he wants to do is he's going to drive it and see how far his right foot is away. In fact, is he may even pop it, drive it in to where his foot is sideways so he can drive harder into it. Yeah, so he has a little more drive. If he's this way, if his toes pointed forward, he's not getting a lot of drive off of it. So when he, he might shift where it's to sideways, where he's got that side drive in there, he can drive. And that also opens his hips up so he can, you can see how he's gonna hook and reap around. He's not just gonna club him down like you see like in, in wrestling, where they just do a, a you know outside leg hook. This is more of a, a hook, but it's kind of a sweep as well. John and I were talking about this earlier. There's, so you get a little leap in your action as well. So. The guy's all bent over. Here's the situation. He's got a very, okay, very long grip. He's not trying to get in here and control the sleeve. He can control the sleeve low. Also, a little tip also, if this guy's got a super tight jacket, if all you can get is a, what's called a pistol grip, that works pretty darn good too, okay? So if all you get is a pistol grip, fine. Because what we want is just to control the end of the arm, okay? Now, Derek's gonna shift, and as he does, watch his body. Man, now, when he drives in, he's going to drive in and reap his toe hooking around the right side, the back, the right side of, of Eric's leg and, and low, low leg there and foot. Go ahead, drive it. So you can actually reap him. You're getting, he's going to hook all the way around with the inside of his knees and try that version too. Wham. It's kind of a diving into him, okay? Very successful uh, woman on the British Olympic team. She was an Olympian in 2012, Sophie Cox. Did this to one of our, our, our girls on our team uh, over in Germany a few years back. Threw a free pong, clean throw. Very skillful. Now, listen. So, we got the bottom part there. The newer guys say, This really looks hard. It's not. Just remember, dive in. Okay, dive in. Now, the top part, the hands are pretty important too. So, when he does this, when he ties them up, with his hand, he's going he's gonna to steer them. And with his right hand, he's driving this way. See this movement here? And that helps break the balance, kind of twist his body as he does. See how he drove? That really does help. So nobody really thinks you can get this type of a really long leg attack from this. He's bent over this a long grip. People just don't do that very often. But if you know how to do it, you know what to do it, you're going to do it. This is the type of throw, you can do this like on a street situation, and you'll, you know, you may scuff up your clothes or something but you've taken him down hard. It's a clean, clean throw, okay? If, if you can, and if you, they're really clocking this leg, more of a, a tiny approach here to the side here, if, if, Eric, if Derek can come out to the side more and be at this angle here, when he steps in, and watch what, he, he's gonna throw Eric more on his back. Watch the left foot, see that? And it's more of what we call a Tani Otoshi valley drop. It's fu fundamentally the same throw you just did, it's just a different angle. You see everybody see that? The angle is different. So the nice thing about judo and jiu-jitsu is that we got a whole brand new name for it. Sometimes the hardest thing to know is the Japanese terminology, but it makes sense. Everybody see that? So the first one will go straight in, the second one will come back, then we'll hit that angle where you see more of a Tani Otoshi. But in any event, this is kind of an answer to these guys who are bent over, okay? If, if he's all bent over and you miss it, you can always pursue with an ankle pick. So if, if, 
Eric, what we're going to have you do is you can withdraw that. See, you're always there to hit the ankle. So you've, you've, you've committed to your throw. You get out somehow. Leg grab, ankle pick, anything, follow up. So you're going to able to practice that as well. Because sometimes if you miss them, you still want to catch them. Okay? Make sense to everybody? So it's Kosoto Gaku, minor outer hook. And the second one we did was Tani Otoshi, valley drop. But fundamentally, the way we're doing it is pretty much the same throw. And if, if he does step out of it, we do a little leg grab, Ashidori leg grab, or an ankle pick of some kind. Just look like that, okay? All right, then we'll let you throw another stuff too. We're good.